All right, let's head out. Ain't sure what we're going to find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Oh. Careful over this bridge here. Cold. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. Hey, I think I see something up the path. I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac and Sean. We all know quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out. Hitch up here. Yeah. <laughs> Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. What you want? 
I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks Arthur, dying on the train. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> oh, look, there's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, need some... There's a body food in the wagon. Oh, I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep... Yeah, look out! There's more to bed! Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Huh. Oh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. O'Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. One Colm dead is about the only... Only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. Well, you should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride right back. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Micah found a dead body in the wagon outside. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Meet me out here when you're done. Thank <laughs> you. 
Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin and see what we missed. Sure! here, near the lake. Oh. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. Now, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Please. Get the hell out of here. Go.
He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <gasps> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. If the situation were reversed, and he'd look for me. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time.
little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Careful.
you got there. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. This will lead us out. Story. 
sorry for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving. Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. This is a new low, we even buy you. We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. They fear. <laughs> 